Hey everyone, welcome to another video by Simply Learn. I'm sure you must have watched our previous videos on automation anywhere. If you haven't watched them already, I suggest you to go through easy tutorials on every topic on automation anywhere. Automation Anywhere is a well-known RPA tool. It has grown in popularity over the years and is now used by organizations all over the world. Automation Anywhere enables IT departments to set up software robots that collect and interpret data in variety of applications. If you are planning to attend an interview for an RPA or Automation Anywhere developer role, here is a comprehensive list of most frequently asked Automation Anywhere interview questions with answers. But before we begin, Make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and click down the bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. We'll first look at the beginner level questions. What is Automation Anywhere? Automation Anywhere is well known robotic process automation tool that enables business to automate end-to-end -end business operations. It provides powerful and user-friendly RPA capabilities such as cloud-native, web-based intelligent automation solution for automating any complex task. It is a web-based management system that employs a control room to execute automated tasks. It improves the efficiency of business process and reduces the need for human labor. What are the features of Automation Anywhere? Automation Anywhere offers an easy-to-use interface for building bots and designing business process automation workflows. It supports multiple operating systems such as Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It consists of a recorder that works on a variety of platforms including Microsoft Windows, Citrix, Web and SAP. It consists of different bot views for collaboration, flow view for business users, list view for developers and dual view for collaboration. Automation Anywhere supports platforms like JavaScript, Python, and VBScript, as well as advanced variable capabilities. Another key feature is its versatile architecture that allows for the addition of new command packages. What are the different components in Automation Anywhere? Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface AARI, is a user-friendly interface that allows business users to collaborate with bots. AARI enables enterprises to unlock previously unavailable automation opportunities between humans and bots that RPA could not address. IQBot, an intelligent document processing solution capable of reading and processing a wide range of complex documents and emails. IQBot intelligently captures, classifies, and extracts semi structured and unstructured data using RPA and multiple AI techniques allowing document-centric business process to be automated end-to-end. -end. Bot Insight The analytics platform that delivers real-time, interactive and intelligent insights into the business process and operational intelligence. Discovery Bot An intelligent business solution for enterprise business that enables end users to discover automation opportunities through process discovery. Discovery Bot collaborates with business workers to identify automation opportunities that can maximize the return on your RPA investment. What is an Enterprise Control Room and how does it work? The Enterprise Control Room serves as a single point of management for all bots. The Enterprise Control Room manages, schedules, executes and configures various bots and bot runner capabilities using a collection of specialized web services. The Enterprise Control Room is placed on a server in the data center and configured to work with the other data center components. Explain the different type of bots in Automation Anywhere. Taskbot. Taskbots are used for automating repetitive tasks based on the rules. These tasks are simple to create and can reliably complete multi-step procedures. Document administration, claims management, HR departments, IT and other areas benefit from task bots. Metabot Metabots are more advanced version of task bots. Metabots are automation building components that help with next generation integration scalability. These are intended for a scalable complex process. On a computer, Metabots are used to automate applications. IQBot IQBots are the next generation of intelligent bots. With the ability to think like humans, these bots are designed to learn on their own and carry out tasks in accordance with that learning. 
IQ bots also learn to recognize patterns so that the bot knows exactly what to do the next time the pattern appears. With each human confirmation, it learns and improves its ability to carry out the act. Explain briefly the architecture of Automation Anywhere. Automation Anywhere platform is built using a distributed architecture. The Enterprise Control Room is a web-based platform that manages the development and execution of digital workforce and provides a centralized management. Bot creators and bot runners are linked to the Enterprise Control Room. Bot creators are software development platforms for authorizing and customizing automations. Bot runners are runtime system deployed on machines that carry out the automations. Bot runners can be installed on desktops, in data centers or in the cloud. What is a bot creator? A bot is a self-contained task that requires little to no human intervention to complete. The bot creator is a customized development client for automation anywhere that is used to create bots. Task editor, event watcher, bot player, auto login, and local scheduler are all included. The bot creator also includes the ability to create bots from a device utilizing the enterprise client application. The device is registered with the enterprise control room after the bot creator user signs in for the first time and the user can deploy bots on that device. What is a bot runner? A bot runner has ability to run bots from a device utilizing the enterprise client application. The device is registered with the enterprise control room after the bot runner user logs in for the first time and the user can deploy bots on that device. Bots are run by bot runner which is a software machine. Bot runners can run bots at a scale after they have been developed by the bot creator. Explain triggers in automation anywhere. Triggers integrate predefined events into your process, reducing the amount of tasks that users must do repeatedly. In Automation Anywhere, you can use Attendant Automation to create unique triggers for numerous apps. These triggers can then be used to launch a bot. Add triggers to have the bot execute automatically whenever a specified event occurs. For instance, pressing a specific key or series of keystrokes. Explain the benefits of Automation Anywhere. Time saving, an easy to use interface that allows users of varying skill levels to easily use the product and accelerate the learning process. With instant web-based deployment, you can get started with writing bots right away. Business Adaptability. Automation Anywhere provides regular updates, ensuring that you are always up to date on any device anywhere. It provides continuity of operations with high availability and disaster recovery. Low cost of ownership. There is no need for additional infrastructure investment. A unified platform for front office, back office and employee applications. It gives lower maintenance cost. What are bot insights? The analytics platform that delivers real-time, interactive and intelligent insights into business process and operational intelligence. Bot Insight takes a large amount of content level and productivity data generated by deployed bots and converts it into insights via automatically generated and customizable dashboards. What are the different Excel packages that Automation Anywhere offers? Automation Anywhere offers three different Excel packages. Excel Advanced Package. It's utilized to automate actions involving the workbook, worksheet, rows, columns, and cells. The system must have Microsoft Office installed. The versions of Microsoft Office that are supported range from 2016 to Microsoft Office 2019. Excel Basic Package. Enables quick spreadsheet activities for .xlsx files without requiring the MS Excel software to be installed. Office 365 Excel. It provides commands for working with Excel online. The Office 365 Excel bundle includes actions that allow you to automate operations in Microsoft Excel online. If you are using Microsoft Excel 365 via a web browser, you can use the Office 365 Excel package to automate Excel process. Let us look at the intermediate level questions. Explain functions of the following Excel commands. Open spreadsheet. Allows to open the Excel spreadsheet. Close spreadsheet. Closes a spreadsheet that was opened. Save spreadsheet. Saves a spreadsheet in an open workbook. Activate spreadsheet. 
activates a specific spreadsheet in an open workbook. It specifies whether to activate the sheet by index or sheet by name. Get cell allows to retrieve the values of a specific cell as well as the range of the cell. Set cell sets the value of the active cell or a specific cell in an Excel spreadsheet. You can assign a variable to the cell value. Go to cell moves to a specific cell within a spreadsheet. Delete cell deletes the value of a specific cell within an Excel spreadsheet. Run Excel macro runs a macro that is stored within an Excel spreadsheet. Enter the macro name and specify the parameters of the macro arguments. Explain the types of triggers to start a bot. Email In email trigger, a bot is launched when a new email message arrives in the given email service, such as Microsoft Outlook, email server or AWS server. File and folder when a predefined file or folder event occurs, it starts a bot. As the trigger, you can choose from the following options like when you make a new file or a folder or when a file or a folder that already exists gets destroyed or when you rename a file or a folder. The next type is hotkey. When a predetermined combination of keystrokes is performed on the keyboard, a bot is launched. As the trigger, you can use any combination like Control, Alt, Windows, and Escape are all control keys. Regular alphabetical characters are used in the key. Interface When a predetermined event occurs on the selected user interface element, a bot is launched. Some instances of pre configured events are a button is pressed by the user, or an application is opened or closed by the user, a checkbox is selected or cleared by the user. How to record the task with Universal Recorder? Step 1. Create a new bot or open an existing bot. Then click on the Start Recording and select Universal Recording. Step 3. Perform the required steps and click on Finish. Step 4. Edit the actions and click on Save. Let's jump into the Automation Anywhere control room and see how to record the task with Universal Recorder. So here we are in the control room. We have created a new bot. So let's search for a message box. Double click on the message box. Enter a message. Close message box after 5 seconds. Now go to start recording or you can press Ctrl plus R. Click on start recording and select the window which you want to record. So I'll select the calculator and click on Universal Recorder. And now you can perform actions. So I'm adding the numbers. So I have randomly performed some actions. Now I'll click on finish and let's finish the recording. Now let us save and click on run. So here you can see the message is displayed. Hello, it will close in five seconds and it has closed and the recording has been played and it shows the actions which we have recorded. You can see your bot has run successfully. How to clone a bot in Automation Anywhere? Create a read-only duplicate of the bot in the private workspace from the public workspace so you can have a local copy without checking it out. Step 1. Log into the control room as a bot creator user and then in public space click bots the my bot page is displayed with the list of folders or files containing the bot then select the bot you want to clone click the actions menu and click clone task bot the clone bot appears in the same folder structure in the private workspace 
So let's jump into the automation in your control room and see how to clone a bot. So this is the my bot folder. So these are the bots which I have created. So let's go to this Python bot. Select this bot and go to the options and click here copy task bot. And here you can see a copy of that bot is been created and name the bot whatever you want. So I'll keep the default name Python bot copy one and click on copy. You can select the folder where you want to store it. I have kept the default folders. And here you can see Python bot copy one has been successfully created. So that is how you clone a bot. Explain the following commands, delay command, wait command and task command. The delay command is used to delay the execution of next command for a set length of time. You have the option of specifying the time in milliseconds or seconds. Wait command. The wait command is used to add a condition that forces the next set of actions to wait for the contents of a screen to change before proceeding. Task command. Task command is used to start a task within a task or pause it and stop it. Explain predefined variables in automation anywhere. Predefined variables are variables that provide specific information about the machine on which the bot is run. The values of a preset variable cannot be changed by users. Below are the examples of predefined variables. Clipboard, date and time, string, and system settings and parameters. Explain the date time predefined variables in automation anywhere. Using the date time packages activities, you can manipulate date and time variables. Date returns a date that includes the hours, minutes, and seconds. Day, the day is written in date format. R is a function that returns the hours in hours format. Machine, the device name is returned as a string by the machine. Millisecond, millisecond returns a value between zero and triple nine milliseconds. Minute, the minutes are returned in minute format. Month, Month is a function that returns the month in month format. Seconds, the seconds are returned in seconds format. Year, returns the current year in the year format. How are loops used to control a bot in automation anywhere? Loops are one of the most powerful bot building constructions. Loops are the instructions that repeat a set of actions a certain number of times or until a condition is met. When a loop checks for the completion of a defined number of iterations or satisfaction of a condition, if not satisfied, the loop is executed. The same conditions are checked repeatedly until the condition has been satisfied. If the condition is satisfied, then the loop is not being executed. Explain error handling in automation anywhere. Error handling in automation anywhere consists of the error handler package that comprises actions that make it simple to handle exceptions that a bot encounters and pass control to the bot's other activities. You can use the error handler actions to separate the actions that you can't use to complete a task from the actions or to handle an exception. When a bot meets an error, handling exceptions ensure that the work is complete. How is Automation Anywhere different from UiPath? On the basis of single integrated automation platform, Automation Anywhere provides intelligent automation platform like Attended Automation, Unattended Automation, Intelligent Document Processing and many more. Whereas UiPath requires third-party products and integration to deliver a similar solution. Increasing installation and support complexity. Modern architecture. Automation Anywhere provides efficient Java-based microservice architecture, ensuring scalability, reducing the cost of infrastructure and maintenance. UiPath, on the other hand, built on a legacy window workflow foundation with the last update released in 2012. The scalability is slow and difficult due to lack of modularity. Ease of use 
In Automation Anywhere, the easy-to-use platform enables the regular employees to create their own automation. But UiPath is targeted towards the developer community and needs more intervention from IT and development team. Most Secure and Compliant Automation Anywhere provides the best in-class security standard, whereas UiPath has incomplete security certifications that create business and compliance risk. Easier to scale Automation Anywhere quickly scales to thousands of bots in front and back office, no matter the type attended, unattended or document processing. UiPath's architecture unable to scale horizontally and required to duplication of entire application for every service expansion. Quicker ROI In Automation Anywhere, the modern microservices architecture enables a platform to scale both vertically and horizontally, delivering faster ROI. In UiPath, with most deployments limited to a single digit, large-scale deployments become difficult. Explain JavaScript package in Automation Anywhere. The JavaScript package contains actions that allow a bot to run JavaScript. On Windows, Linux, and Unix-based devices, these activities can launch JavaScript. The JavaScript includes the following actions. Open. This action opens a JavaScript file in Automation Anywhere. Close. This action closes the session and specifies the same session name from the open action. Run JavaScript action runs a function within the JavaScript. Now let us look at some of the advanced level Automation Anywhere interview questions. How to write inline scripts using Python command in Automation Anywhere? Step 1. Create a new bot. And Step 2. Drag and drop the following actions. That is Python script, open execute function and python script close. Finally, add a message box to display the result variable. Let us go to the automation anywhere control group. So, I have already created a bot. I will open that bot. Search for the Python script package. From the Python script package, drag and drop the open function. In the open function, specify the session name. If you already have an existing file on your device, then select the import existing device and enter the file path. Or you can enter the input manually. So I have entered the input manually in which I have defined a function, function which I have named it as name and I have called an argument called string and I have returned that argument. So, select the Python runtime version. In my device, Python version 3 is installed. So, I have selected the 3 and then drag and drop the Python script. In this, enter the session name and enter the name of function to be executed. As you can see here in the previous open action, I have entered the function name as name. So, en enter this in the Python script action. Enter the name of the function then argument to the function create a variable so i have created a variable and named it as python variable so and i have assigned the value to this variable and i have assigned the value called thanks to this variable and then in the display message enter the variable which you had created so we had created the variable Python variable and assign it. So enter the variable. Just a second. So select the variable and then close the message box after 10 seconds. Then once you open the Python script, then we have to close the Python script as well. And the session name should be the same. So for in detail explanation and better understanding, check out our tutorial on automation anywhere using Python. Check out this video in which I have explained all the steps in detail how Python is used in automation anywhere. So now we'll click on save and we'll click on save and run this. Oops. 
downloading dependencies downloading dependencies and here you go the message from the bot is being displayed as thanks this was the value which we had assigned to the variable and the window will close in 10 seconds how to create a credential in automation anywhere step 1 navigate to bots and go to the credentials section then enter the credential name and a description for the configured credential then enter the attribute name and supply the description for the attribute then select the external key vault then select input standard or user provided set the security and click create credential let's go to the automation anywhere and create a credential in the control room go to manage in the manage you can see credentials click on credentials and if you if you go here you can see create credential click on create credential enter the credential name enter the credential description which is optional then scroll down and enter the attribute name whatever the attribute you want enter the attribute name and enter the description which is optional and provide the input either you can keep the input standard or user provided when you keep the input as user provided when the credential is added to the locker an email will be sent to the consumer of the locker so you will receive an email but we don't want to receive an email so we'll keep it as standard and enter the value so enter the value of the attribute which you are creating and you can keep the value masked when you keep it masked the value gets encrypted usually we use it for passwords when you enter the password we encrypt the value that is why we select mask and you can create the attribute like this and if you want you can create multiple attributes click on plus and you can create the multiple attributes once you have created the attributes then when you scroll up here you can see this option create credential this option will get enabled then you click on create credential and the credential gets created this is how you create a credential how to set up a locker and assign credentials step 1 create and assign roles step 2 create a credential and step 3 create a locker so it is very simple let's go to the control room go to the credential sections in this you can see the lockers option here go to lockers and click on create locker once you click on create locker enter the locker name enter the description so in the credentials whatever credentials you have created will be shown here so i have already deposited this credential in the locker that is why it is disabled for me so once you have created the credential check this box select the credential and click here to deposit this credential in the locker once that is done go to the owners and select the owner so your owner uh, email address will be shown here select that email address and deposit that in the locker once that is done go to managers this is optional and this manager is not enabled in the community edition and even the participants this is also not enabled in the community edition so skip these two steps and go to consumers and in consumers check the community edition user and deposit that in the locker once this much is done you can see this option create locker this option will get enabled so click on create locker and the locker will get created check out my previous video on automation anywhere excel operations in which i have shown how to create a credential and how to create a locker in detail create a bot to login web page using automation anywhere actions used in the above question are as follows we will use the browser package that contains actions that enable you to download files find broken lines and launch a website it contains a capture action from the recorder package to capture an interaction with the user interface object such as text box, button, table, etc. Let's go to the Automation Anywhere control room and create a bot to login web page using Automation Anywhere. So this is the login bot which I have already created. You can check out our Automation Anywhere tutorial in which I have detailedly explained each step how to create a bot to login inside any web page. So basically in this we are using a browser action. In the browser action we will open it in the new window. We will browse in the Google Chrome. 
you can select whichever you want. For now, I have selected Google Chrome and select the link to open. So in this project, I will log in inside the Simply Learns web page. So for that, I have selected the link that is the link in the Simply Learns. So go to the Simply Learns web page, go to the login page. And I have copied this link of the login page. So I have pasted the link to open here. Then I have used the recorder package. From the recorder package, I have used the capture action in which in the first action, I'll capture the email address. In the second capture action, I'll capture the password. In the third capture action, I'll click on the login button. So I have captured this three action. So let us save and click on run. Here you go, it has opened the web page in the new window. So entering the email address, password and clicking on the login button. And it has logged it inside the Simply Learns web page. And your bot has run successfully. Create a bot to merge two data tables from a different Excel sheets into a new sheet. So to merge two data tables together in a single data table, in Automation Anywhere, we use merge action from the data table package. So let's go to Automation Anywhere. So I have the two Excel files, file 1 and file 2. So in file 1, I have six rows of employee names and salaries. In file 2, I have five rows of salary of salaries and employee names. So I'll merge both these tables into a new Excel sheet. So for that, let us go to let us go to the Automation Anywhere control room. You can check out our Automations Anywhere Excel Operations videos in which we have explained all the Excel operations and actions in detail. In step 1, I have selected the file 1, that is I have opened the Excel file 1 and assigned it a get multiple cell actions and close the file. Similarly, in step 2, I have opened the file 2 and similarly, Assign the get multiple cells and close the file too. Then from the data table package, from the data table package, I have used this merge action. This merges two data tables together in a single data table. So I have used this. So I have used this action. So I'll disable the other actions. Click on save and run the file. So the Excel bot is running and a new file name, uh, named as result will be created on the desktop. So the bot has run successfully. Let us go to the desktop and see the result file which got created. Let us open this file. And here you can see both the data tables have been merged into a new Excel files. Six, first six rows from the file 1 and the next five rows from the file 2 have been merged into a single data table. How to remove duplicate rows from a data table in Automation Anywhere? To remove duplicate rows from the data table, use remove duplicate rows action from the data table package. As you can see in this data table, there, there is a duplicate row named John, which is repeated twice. So let us go to Automation Anywhere and perform action to remove these duplicate rows. So let us close this. So if you go to the data table action here, you can see remove duplicate rows. So double click on this and then you will get the du double click on remove duplicate rows. And in du remove duplicate rows, select the data table name. So I am selecting the data variable which I have created. So just specify the data table name and the automation anywhere will remove the duplicate rows. So let us click on save and let us run. Here you can see the Excel bot is running. It, it is opening both the Excel files. It is checking for duplicate rows and your bot has successfully run. 
So let us close this and go to desktop. And here you can see the duplicate row has been deleted. So there was one more duplicate row with the name John. So that row has been deleted. So this is how you delete duplicate rows in automation any from the Excel from the data table. The last question how to sort data in a data table using automation anywhere. To sort data in a data table automation anywhere provides a sort action from the data table package. So if you look at this data table you can see the salaries column the salaries is not sorted. So we will sort the salaries column in the descending order. The employee with the highest salary will be at the top and the employee with the lowest salary will be at the bottom. So let's close this and we'll enable this sort data action. So what you have to do is select sort data action from the data table package. Once you select this, specify the data table name and the column name. So we want to sort the column salaries. Then select the order in which you want to sort. We'll sort it in the descending order. Click on save and click on run. Here you can see deploying to the computer, downloading the dependencies and the bot is running. So your bot has run successfully. Let's go to desktop and open the file results. And here you can see the data is sorted in the descending order. The employee with the highest salary is at the top. Similarly, in the decreasing order, the employee with the lowest salary is at the bottom. So with that, we have reached the end of this video. Like and share it if you found it interesting. And thank you for being here. Keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.